IB, Chapter 18, Section C, Binomial Distribution. A binomial distribution is a probability distribution for an experiment that has two possible outcomes, like a coin which has heads or tails. One of these outcomes is a success and one of them is a failure. So let's say you're going to toss a coin, then you might say heads wins, so that would be your success. So tail would lose, so that would be your failure. There are some conditions for binomial distribution, and they are that the trial has to have only um, two possible outcomes, that they're independent of each other, and that the probability of success is the same for each trial. So we have notation. N is equal to the number of trials. P is the probability of success. X is the random variable. So X has a binomial distribution of N, P. So let's pick a counter and replace. That keeps it independent. We have five counters. Yellow gets points, so that's our success, and pink does not. We're going to choose three counters of the five. So X is um, our successful event, so in this case picking yellow. There are going to be three counters, so um, N is three. And because there's three counters out of five, um, which are yellow, then that gives the probability of 0.6. So we can write it in this way. We're given three formulae on the formula sheet. Um, one is for working out that P, the probability of X being equal to a value, uh, the expected value, and the variance. So these are the three formulae that we're going to be having a look at. And there's a reminder of the notation on the formula sheet. So looking at this example, Let's say I want to know the probability of x being equal to 2. So I'm picking three counters, and I want to know what's the probability that two of those will be yellow. So following the formula, we have x being equal to 2. If n choose r, so that's 3 choose 2, the probability to the power of r, so that's 0 0.6 to the power of 2, and then 1 take 0 0.6 will give me 0 0.4 to the power of 1. So, let's have a look at our calculator. We'll look at the TI-84. So, we need to be able to find 3 choose 2. So, on our calculator, this is under maths. Go across the probability, and then you can see it's NCR. On this calculator, you need to do the N first. Then go to your probability, and then choose, sorry, uh, 2. In this case, that's 3. OK, so we can then put the rest of it into our calculator. So we uh, can have 3, um, bracket 0 0.6 squared, 0 0.4 to the power of 1, which we don't need, but just for the example. Um, and that gives me 0 0.432. There is another way to do this on your calculator. Your calculator will do this straight away for you because it has a distribution um, function on the calculator. So, if I go to second VARG, which gives me the distribution menu, I can head on down, past the screen, and I'll get the choice of binomial PDF or binomial CDF. I need the PDF. <laughs> it's very clear, um, you just fill it in. So, 3 was the number of trials, 0 0.6 was our probability. And the value uh, that we're looking for is x being equal to 2. And it populates it all for you, and you can see it will give me 0 0.432. And you can use either method. So again, that's in the second bar, which is distribution menu, and it was a binom PDF. Let me show that again. So you just populate all that information. So 3 and 0 0.6, two trials. Uh, sorry, three trials and x being equal to 2, and that's 0.432. Okay, so why does this work? Well, if I'm going to pick three counters and I'm looking for two yellows, that can either be, I might pick a yellow first, a yellow second, and a pink last, or a yellow, pink, yellow, or a pink, yellow, yellow. The probability of each, so this would be 0.6 for the first yellow, 0 0.6 for the second yellow, and then 0 0.4 for the pink, and then so on, which if I rewrite them, 
equal zero, 0 0.6 squared times 0 0.4 to the power of 1. And then, as you can see, there's three of those. So this is how the formula works. It works out the probability of one of the events, and it works out how many of those there'd be. Okay, the formula, also, the formula sheet also gives um, the expected value and the variance. These are very simple to follow. So expected value is n times p, and the variance is np times 1 minus p. So the expected value, um, we'd obviously have 3 times 0 0.6, which is 1.8. And for the variance, we'd have uh, 3 times 0 0.6 times 1 minus 0 0.6, obviously that's 0 0.4 and that gives us 0.72. The questions um, and the calculator have two functions as well. One is called the probability distribution function, or PDF, and the other is the cumulative distribution function, CDF. The difference between them is for the PDF, you're looking at when x is equal to a value, and for the CDF, it's when x is less than or equal to a value. That's very important, this symbol here, less than or equal to. Um, if you had more than or more than or equal to or less than, you'd have to adjust your question. So let's have a look at an example of how those work. So let's say we have eight counters this time and five of them are yellow. I'm going to choose six counters. The probability of me getting a yellow will be five out of eight, um, which is equal to 0 0.625. And I can write it in this way. So obviously it's a binomial distribution of n and p. So, let's first of all look at x being equal to 4. So, if x is equal to 4, then this would be a PDF. Um, there are six trials, and it's 0.625. And my question wanted x to be equal to 4. Um, this gives you a very long number here. I only want to round the three quarters figures to IB. So that's three, 0 0.322. Great. OK, this time, let's do the probability of x being less than or equal to 4. So this symbol here is a CDF. So very similar. So we go to second bars again. this time we pick the CDF, so that's number B. So again, six files, so we're going to pick six counters. Um, five out of the eight are yellow and want to be less than or equal to four. The calculator will populate that for you. So this time um, I want 0 0.726. Great. So one of the things I said was it had to be less than or equal to. So what happens if we want more than 4? Well, if we want more than 4, then what we need to do is do 1 take away x being less than or equal to 4. And so this will give you 0 0.74.